Okay, so our next topic um, we're going to look at is an evaluation configuration update for SSAM. Um, SSAM is a tool that was developed by Federal Highway um, just to perform some more detailed safety analysis. So if you actually would like to learn more about using SSAM and VISM, I'm just going to put a, a plug in here for an, a past PTV talk session in which Joe DeVore kind of went through um, how he is actually using that in a lot of his uh, project work. So the big update here um, actually has to do with the trajectory files that are exported and then used in SSAM. So originally, these were only generated for the entire network and were also generated for the entire simulation run. So as you can imagine, um, this would generate a lot of data and it would also generate probably data for intersections that maybe you're not as interested in for completing this additional analysis. And it would also include any warm-up time that you had in the simulation. So new starting in Service Pack 6, which you can download now in version 2020. You can now set up this configuration to include a from and to time, so that way you can just have this exported for a specific range. And then you can also set up different sections in the network to only collect data for certain intersections. So in order to set this up, um, first I'll just need to add in these sections. And these sections can either be different polygons. Um, you can also use just a default rectangle or also circles. So if you select that sections network object from the toolbar, you can kind of add this the same way that you add nodes, um, where you just control and then right click to place all the remaining points. And then once that's been set up, you can also change the level that the section is defined on um, and also change things like the display type and the name. And then on the evaluation side, you'll need to go to the evaluation menu and select configuration. And from there, if you go to the direct output tab, you'll see an option there for SSAM. And you can check the right to file box in order to include that in the output. And then on the right hand side, this is where you can now define the from time and the to time. And then you can select the more option to actually choose which sections you want to include in that output. And so here's just a quick comparison. Uh, this is for a relatively small network, only six intersections. But you can see originally when we're collecting data for this entire network, we have already over a gig in that trajectory file size, whereas on the right-hand side, when we define a couple of sections to use, we're down to about 200 megabytes. And this also directly impacts the time that it takes to load the file into SSAM. So again, on the right, when we have those sections defined, it just takes about a minute, whereas with the full network, we're waiting about five and a half minutes. So this is the little example file that we created. Again, on the sections network object, there is a drop down here if you wanted to define just a rectangle or a circle. You can right click in the network editor just to add that new section. And then you can kind of uh, expand it. And if you zoom in close enough, then you can like drag it around and move it to the desired location. And then once you have that section placed, if you go to evaluation, configuration, choose that direct output tab, then you'll just want to make sure that SSAM is checked. You can set your from and to time. So maybe you don't want to include warm up as part of this analysis. So you can set it to something like 900 seconds in this case. And then you can choose the more button to select the different uh, sections to include in that output. So then once you run the simulation, this will create a trajectory file. So it'll end in .trj. And in SSAM, you'll just go ahead and add 
that particular file. I already preloaded this because um, it does still take about a minute, even with the sections themselves. So you'll just select that and hit open. And then you'll select that analyze button to run the analysis. And then from there, you can go ahead and look at the map and then check out all of the different conflicts. 